So hi and welcome back. I'm 3D Modeler on YouTube, and this is the second tutorial in uh, creating the high-resolution uh, image or uh, head of a human being. So what I'll just start with is uh, the uh, explanation of this program. It's called Modbox, and it's an alternative to the more famous, I think, uh, and that's called ZBrush. So. The general idea in Markbox is that when you import a model like this, um, I'll just import the head that we did last time, um, I rotate this, and you need to be aware that the um, movement in this program is a bit different from what you're used to in 3ds Max. Um, in 3ds Max you're used to pressing the middle mouse button and the Alt key. In this pro program you're pressing the, oh sorry, the control key in Max. In this program you press the ALT key and the left left mouse button. The middle mouse button will move around with the ALT key and the left one will zoom or move away. So I'll just start by explaining these different uh, tools down here. So uh, on, the, on the bottom right cor uh, left corner we have the um, stamps or the arrows or the different ways to apply <coughs> sorry a modification to the program to apply the modification to the pr uh, to the model that you have in the screen now on the right corner there is um, these um, tab controls the first one is fall off well what the fall off allows you to do is actually showing you a picture of how the um, modification of the of of the painting on the model will occur um, the default one is this one down here, and this shows you that it will try to make a high, high and low modification. So when I try to draw on this, it will do a very very um, fast uh, extrusion on the different vertices that I have in on the model here. And when I choose this small one here, it will actually lower this one a considerable amount. Now, I use the shortcuts here. Um, the shortcuts for extruding is nothing. You just press the left mouse button and it will extrude it. I press the control key to do the opposite, to, to press down on the model. And that's basically the thing that you can do. You can also use the shift key and this will smooth out the model on the vertices. I just undo this. Now. When you have selected the uh, the brush, and in this case it's a soft brush, I go over here to the size, and the size is obviously the the round circle that I have in the scene here. When I lower this, uh, you can see that the circle changes in size. The strength of the brush determines how far it will extrude the vertices. So the stronger the brush is, the more the vertices will be extruded. So I'll just move this down, say like 6, and I'll start um, painting on this. Now as you can see, it's uh, basically the shape that we had in our 3ds Max program. S so by subdividing this uh, shape here, I can actually start putting in more detail. Um, the shortcut for this is uh, Shift and D, like so, you can see it's smoothing up already. You can also go to the mesh and select the subdivision selection shift plus D at the with the star down here and this will also smooth out the model. So what you basically are going to do here is just draw on top of your model and play around with this to get used to the controls to move and zoom in and rotate the model. Um, you also have to be aware of the, the mirror X here you can mirror, obviously you can mirror, the default setting is off um, as you can see here I will only paint on the one side of the model now I'll just undo this when I set the X axis to be on I'm, I may make the same changes of on both sides, sides at the same time so um, this is what you're doing or should do uh, to make the changes to your model in this program so I'll just uh, go ahead here and, and start drawing on top of my uh, model and see you back in a little while. So hello, I'm back again and this is what I did in about 10 minutes. Um, 
as you can see here, there are still some errors, uh, errors in uh, in the model. This is due to the way it was converted when we converted it, and the maybe excessive use of um, the cut tool. You can see here there is a weird part. It's probably due to <coughs> an extra vertice and there are some other parts in the model where it could need some um, redoing from the beginning as you can see here there are some arrows um, but basically um, this is the result that you can get by work with uh, working with the program modbox for for a few mi minutes um, you'll probably have to uh, sorry um, you'll probably have to do it uh, and work with it a, a bit longer but um, obviously you can get results like this so when you're done and your model looks like it's almost finished but you want to give it a bit more detail you will sub you have to subdivide it once again and now I'm at almost 100,000 uh, faces on the model itself and as you can see it's lagging on my computer I have a dual core so this is really something you will do at the end now I want to select the stamp tool here and I go to these, uh, this uh, tab here that says saying stamp and I don't want to mirror it now there are some preset um, stamps that I can use, I'll use this one, it looks like a um, it's kinda like veins on a human body and I want to place it on the side like this so as you can see it actually pops out the skin and I want to do it again um I probably want to interlace this a f couple more times like pressing shift D like subdividing the mesh once again and this will take me to 400,000 almost I think yeah almost 400,000 vertices so this will be really laggy um keep in mind that okay it wasn't the vertices so, okay, this is, um, oh, it's the strength of the, there you go. So as you can see, I want to zoom in here. So as you can see, it applies the, the stamp that I put on top of the model. And I can put different stamps all over this um, head here. And it's starting to lag excessively. Let's see here. Step a level down. This will actually take me a level from 400,000 back to the almost 100,000 vertices. Um, it needs to write to the to the memory and, and to um, paste the different um, properties back and forth. So it should work smoother now. Yeah. A little bit. Not that much. So as you can see, I can apply details onto the model after I've I'm done with it. And obviously I can change the strength of the um, stamp that I apply to it. Keep in mind that black is, uh, is at the same level and white will be pushed out the furthest. And black will be the, the neutral or the beginning of of where the stamp was applied. Um, I should probably do this over as you can see it it intersects itself in different parts and th that's not it doesn't look that good obviously so um, I'll just try to match these better on the other side like so and as you can see the, f the, the, s the bigger I make the the stamps here the the bigger they become on, on the side of the skull. So if I place uh, smaller stamps beside each other, it will look... they will become smaller and bigger will become bigger, obviously. So I can just keep on doing this with uh, different shapes and get different results, new stamps. Um, so basically this is how you apply the different properties or a different um, 
texture onto the high-res model and um, yeah so this is it for this tutorial I'm 3D Modeler on YouTube thanks for watching